What's up you guys? Today's video is going to be trying out some Fenty Beauty products. This video kind of goes south at the end, but it's all good. I fixed it. It's fine. We're all good in the hood. I literally took off all my face makeup that I already had on today to try out this product, these products. Um, so if you're interested to see my initial thoughts on Fenty Beauty and the products that I picked up, please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm really trying to figure out this light and my camera settings. Um, and I... <sighs> God, having glasses is like the most annoying thing because I have to like tilt my head down so that you guys don't get an annoying glare. So I took my face makeup off because I got some Fenty Beauty products in the mail. I made a little order. I only got three products, so we're only going to be trying out three products today. But the, what is this called? Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got their little highlighter duo in the shade Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I also got their match stick, her, sorry, her match stick in the shade Confetti. So these are just the products that I'm going to be trying today. So I've already primed my face with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter because this is a matte foundation and I really want it to not be super cakey. It's currently 7 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this tomorrow because I have school and I'm going to be doing little vlog style updates throughout the day and I'll attach that to the end of this video. Um, so you get a little bit of a wear test um, as well as the first impressions. I definitely wanted to do a wear test, but like I said, I just got these in the mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply one side with my BH Cosmetics foundation brush and one side with my sponge and we're going to see how it goes on, how it looks, all that fun stuff. I so I'm going to do the one side, oh yeah that is way too yellow, one side with a brush and one side with my sponge. Already I really don't like how it's going on with the brush, wow that looks incredibly streaky, oh, okay. We're just going to try to work with it, but at least we know we won't be applying it with a brush very liquidy formula too which I don't know how I feel about I normally just do my foundation with a beauty sponge but I wanted to try doing it with a brush just to see how it would work and I really don't like it so for the rest of the face I'm just going to use my sponge and I'm gonna apply it directly to the sponge to put on my face it actually isn't matching like that horribly when I blend it out Maybe it's just the primer, but this takes a lot of work to like blend out and make it look good. It could also be the fact that my brushes are super dirty, so this is kind of a bad first impression. I don't know. I don't know, the camera probably washes it out, but I'm having a lot of skin issues right now. Like a lot of dryness, a lot of texture. Just like, it's not good. And this foundation is not looking good on top of it. So, oh, this foundation is really not looking good on top of it. Oh, I'm really sad that I'm not liking this oh, fuck. but like my skin looks horrible right now and this foundation is like emphasizing absolutely everything like it's clinging to all of my dry patches it's clinging to all of my texture I'm kind of I mean and it is a matte foundation so like I'm the dummy for not moisturizing this would probably work a lot better if I had moisturized but I'm just gonna apply a little bit more to my cheeks than my nose but so we're definitely gonna hella moisturize tonight and i'm gonna try it again tomorrow and let you know what i think so i'm gonna try to save the day with concealer I'm just gonna use my urban decay see if that helps oh my god first impressions as of right now i don't like how it looks i think it really emphasizes texture and it's looking pretty cakey. Yeah, and it's clinging to dry patches. I'm some dry patches right there. Moving on, I'm gonna try the matchstick in the shade Confetti. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. I'll see if I can get it. It's a very purpley, you know, shade. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just get it on the, just get it on my finger. I don't know, we're gonna tap it on and see what this bitch looks like. I'm just gonna see how it works. Just applying stripe and I'm gonna blend it out with my booty blender. Blend it out with my beauty blender. 
yeah, no, that's not a good way to apply it. Okay, I think I'm just doing this all fucking wrong. No, there's literally no excuse for this. Okay, so I actually might return this because I'm not really feeling it. All right, so my camera died again. Woohoo! Last product that I'm going to be trying in this video is the highlighter duo. I got the shade Mean Money and Baby Hustler. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try the softer side first with my BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna apply that right over top of the highlight that we already have there. Even though this highlight's not gonna do anything with a purple glitter bomb underneath it. Oh, actually, that did something. That's kinda nice. That gives a really nice glow. Okay, and then this second shade here, Money Hustla, uh, no, Hustla Baby. It's probably a bit too dark. But, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, wow. But I do kind of like this. So this was a definite hit for me. So, my initial thoughts. So, I don't like the foundation right now, but like I said, I am going to be trying it again tomorrow. Um, so I will make sure that my skin is adequately prepped. Because I really only put primer on, my skin was not thoroughly cleansed from my makeup today and probably should have waited to do the first impressions but i was just too darn excited smash stick is really interesting but i kind of like it so i'm gonna need to play with it a little bit more and see what kind of stuff i can do with it i can also use it as like inner corner highlight or whatever um and then i did y'all it probably fucking broke yeah I don't know if you can see that, that it fucking broke. I hate myself, but I'm gonna repress this regardless. So it's just gonna look real stupid. <sighs> Why do I drop everything? Okay, that's it, this video is canceled. I'm still gonna post this though. I hate myself, I'm gonna go repress this. Fuck, I hate myself, I'm gonna go, goodbye. I lied, I'm back. I fixed the highlighter. Looks kind of stupid, it's still wet so I can't use it, but luckily I got to use it before it got all mangled. It looks ugly as heck now, but really it's the product inside that matters. So like I said, luckily I was able to use it before I actually broke it. All right, what's up guys? It is officially the next day. I wore the foundation today and I have to say I do like it a lot more trying it out the second time than I do the first time. Granted, I actually took care of my skin this time and I actually made sure it was properly moisturized. Like I used rose hip oil and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I think it looks really good. I'm actually wearing that broken highlighter on my face right now. And I really like it. <laughs> um, I also used it as a lid color. But right now I like how it's looking. I only set my T-zone and under my eyes with powder. Um, so we'll see how it wears throughout the day and I will give you updates. And it is currently 6.50 in the morning. All right, so I'm back to do my first update. It's currently about 10.30 in the morning. So I've had this on for four hours. Um, I haven't actually looked into a mirror, but just looking into the viewfinder, it is looking a little dry, a little bit, um, you know, very matte, but it's not, it's not looking too bad. Um, I will update later. I really can't tell how the lighting is in this clip. I put my camera in front of my ring light this time, and I also raised it up so we don't get that glare. Um, but... It is currently just after 4.30, probably closer to 4.40 um, in the afternoon right now. So I've had this foundation on my face for about 10 hours roughly. Um, and it actually looks pretty good. I just looked in the mirror and it looks pretty darn good. It hasn't moved at all, aside from like the bridge of my nose, but that's because of my glasses. Um, it stayed looking flawless. It looks matte, it looks good. Um, there's like, it was a little dry on my nose and in between my eyebrows, but <sighs> foundation always looks bad on my nose. I'm not blaming the foundation for that one. I actually ended up really liking it. Um, so I'm gonna keep using it. Um, I'm actually about to take a small nap because I'm exhausted. Um, so I will come back at the very end of the day before I take off all my makeup and I will let you guys know my final, final thoughts on this foundation. Okay, final update. It is currently 8.37 at night, 
So I've had this foundation on for about 14 hours and it looks really good. I'll zoom you in so you guys can see how it looks on my face right now. So it is a bit dry just on my nose. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still looking really fresh here. It's not oily. It's not hasn't really transferred except for a little bit of my nose because like I wear glasses, y'all already know. But I actually think it looks really good and my face feels soft. So overall, I really liked the foundation and the highlighter palette, even though I broke it my first time. So yeah, I do like the products and I want, definitely want to try more this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!